Hey guys. Oh, hey. Hey, hey. hey bud. Hey man. Oh, when did you get here? Oh. Did you follow us? I'm gonna tell her that we're playing. She's gonna say ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, that that's what's away, gonna Noah. happen. Put the wallet away. <laughs> Already conceded defeat by having your wallet out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have the trailer too. She's gonna be like, that's gonna be extra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's gonna give me twenty dollars yeah. for a bus and RV. Well, guess what? I no. mean, <laughs> we're not paying. I have to pay. I mean, I'm literally. I'm playing. I'm opening for Night Ranger tonight. Hell yeah! At the uh, Texas Roadhouse stage. I'm currently in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm gonna be playing tonight at the Kentucky State Fair with Noah Guthrie and Good Trouble. Um, Noah called me a couple weeks ago and they had a bass player who backed out on him, so asked me if I could jump in on bass this time. So, uh, so far it's been a blast. We left yesterday, it was a Wednesday, made the drive up here to Louisville from Atlanta and yeah, we're gonna be getting our stuff on stage here and sound checking in a bit. Yeah, I feel like with all this, all the bass stuff, it's like, and we talked about this the other day, it's like, it's sim it's not hard to play, but it's like all, there's so many nuances to yeah, it. Yeah, it's all feel. Yeah. It's like all feel. I feel it's like hard. so many people underestimate like, they either under, underestimate like bass or even like, I see people do it with like styles of music. Oh yeah, that's really easy, but then it's like, yeah, but the guys who are really, really good play really, really easy stuff in a way that's not easy. <laughs> and it's like, and it's all in these tiny little things. Michael, how you feeling? Good, good. I was just telling Noah, it's like just figuring out the the little stuff. It's like it's not hard, but I'm just trying to think like a bass player. Not a guitar player. Not a guitar player. You're in for a treat. Please welcome to the stage <laughs> Noah Guthrie in Good Trouble, baby! So we just parked, we are right down the street from Chicago Music Exchange. We're gonna go check out some stuff. Rhett said he might be looking for a Les Paul. Um, just seeing what we can find. Hang out. Um, this is actually the third time I've been here this year. Um, it's always a fantastic place to come, especially if you're looking for a guitar and you're looking to play multiples of a single guitar, you know? Just to find the guitar that has that special thing that really speaks to you, um, or you know, you just feel like is better than you know other examples of it. This is a place to come for that because I mean, as you saw, they have so many Les Pauls, so many different models. Um, you know, they probably have multiples of the same model. You can kind of find one that suits you best. All that being said, these days, I don't enjoy coming to music stores as much as maybe I used to in the past. Maybe I just get depressed about amazing gear that I can't afford or can't buy right now, but um, you know, it is what it is. I love seeing the, uh, you know, new stuff and, and stuff that I haven't seen before. Um, and this is a place, a great place to do that. I've only ever played these in Europe because uh, they're just not sold a lot here. Yeah. You said they're only one of four dealers in America. Oh, wow. uh, and I always forget every time I pick one up, I'm like, 
this is like so we were having a conversation in rehearsal the other day about like yeah, if I played well, another well, acoustic or something, what would it be? Right. It would be this. And I always forget about it. But every time I pick one up, it's just like it's just dead perfect, man. Like I just love it. Like this feels like an old Martin. You know, like it just feels great. <laughs> yeah, I think the only one I've played of those was like an old like it was like a J45, yeah. and it felt and just horrifying. Yeah. 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 And the bracing, and then they put it through a cryo treatment process. Okay. So basically, in 12 weeks' time, they aged the car. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's based off of a 1937. Just feels so good, and the neck profile is just like yeah, you know, very well, it's exactly very what I want. That just V, that just solid V. Okay, what do you have? God. Well, there you go. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. How you doing? Oh, good. You ready to do it again? You ready to do it again, Noah? Let's do it again. One more game. Yesterday we had the day off and we drove down from Romeoville, which is just outside of Chicago, all the way down here to Nashville. We're staying in an Airbnb here. Yeah, just kind of have the day off today to relax, but then tonight we'll play Whiskey Jam, which is kind of this um, ongoing thing. I think they do it typically on Monday nights uh, where artists come in and they play three songs. So it's kind of this rotating uh, thing of all kinds of different artists, um, up and coming artists that play this so it should be a good time i know there'll be a lot of great people there i've had a blast jumping in with these guys again um you know obviously on bass this time and it really kind of got me thinking and realizing that whether it's bass or even stuff that i've been working on uh on guitar or whatever um i've just been really more focused on this last five to ten percent right this kind of nuance um, idea the idea of even if I'm playing simple stuff even if I know how to play the part right just getting that last little bit that makes it you know feel good feel right feel special um, for whatever it is you're doing you know whether that means it's a tone thing or just a, a rhythm thing laying back in the pocket 
Um, you know, there's all kinds of different ways um, and different things that are, are part of that last little bit, that last little extra something. Um, you know, we also think about that with guitars. Um, you know, Rhett's been looking for a new Les Paul a little bit on this trip and and we kind of talked about and we're looking for that that special something, you know, that last little extra thing that really pushes it over the top and makes it um, a joy to pick up the instrument. Um, again, I think whether you're playing or looking for an instrument, it's all about that last little bit at some point. You know, obviously early on, you're if you're learning an instrument or you're looking for a decent instrument to play there are a lot of boxes that need to be checked before you can kind of start trying to grab that last little thing um, you know as far as technique goes as far as learning parts or just finding an instrument that stays in tune and and works well for what you're trying to accomplish but at some point i think you'll find yourself um, once those initial boxes are checked just looking for that last little something and i think that's what makes it really kind of a journey for your entire life. Yeah.